Welcome back. It's Oscar Sunday and this weekend a renewed push to bring movie production to Wisconsin. A bipartisan bill would offer tax credits up to $5 million a year for film and TV production companies. And it is again caught the attention of John Ridley, the screenwriter and director from Milwaukee who founded No Studios Downtown. His new movie is out on Netflix this month. Shirley profiles Shirley Chisholm, the first black woman to win a U.S. congressional seat. We talked with Ridley from Los Angeles. The last time you were with us, you were pushing state tax credits for film and production companies here in Wisconsin, really trying to incentivize some of these production studios to film uh, in the state. Are you still having some of those conversations with lawmakers and stakeholders? Oh, yeah, absolutely. In fact, we're going to have a, uh, a screening of the film, surely, at the Oriental Theater. In March, we're inviting um, all kinds of individuals down, but certainly some of uh, the legislatures locally and from the state at the state level. Um, it's a conversation that should be ongoing, and we hope that when people see the film, um, they realize, you know, we shot this film in Ohio. We shot it in uh, the Cincinnati area, in the Dayton area. We did some post-production in Los Angeles, New York. Um, so there was a large spend in a lot of places. And not all of the money goes directly to the state or individuals in a state like Ohio, but there was so much money. And every background performer you see, every car that you see was uh, a local individual, happened to have a, an age appropriate, an era appropriate car. They got paid to be on set. They got paid for a car rental, um, whether it's the wardrobe, whether it's building sets, um, driving trucks, almost any job that is done in the quote unquote real world can be done on a set. There's been some movement on this, just this uh, this most recent legislative session, Republican lawmakers proposed a bill that would create production tax incentives and create a state film office. The bill would allow companies to claim credits equal to a quarter of what they pay in salaries, production costs, and other uh, some other taxes, uh, but it's capped at $5 million a year from the state. Is that enough? Well, you know, it, it's enough initially. Um, I, I wouldn't expect a major production to show up tomorrow. Maybe it will. But I do think it's really important for these programs to be proved out and for people to see that they work. Um, you can always change them and adjust them. It's interesting, the lawmakers who are kind of working on some of this legislation, they say Wisconsin is only one of only five states in the country and one of only 10 that don't have a state film office or that don't provide these tax production credits. They say that we're leaving money on the table. Would you classify it that way? Yeah, I, I absolutely would. I mean, look, it's very competitive business. I, I don't want people to um, be Pollyannish about it, that you turn on these tax credits and, and film companies show up. But it, it's a relatively low risk, high reward proposition. Why would you not do it? I'm, I'm not picking on the Foxconn deal that Wisconsin entered into a few years back, but there was a substantial outlay before any jobs could potentially arrive. And I don't think those jobs arrived in any way um, equivalent to what people had expected or what was promised. Again, not trying to pick on that deal, but that's always, you know, the same thing with the, with the stadium. Same thing, anytime you put out a bond issue or something like that, you're hoping for a better future. Tax credits only are enacted once a production company is local and once they start filming, once they start spending. Uh, would you film a movie or bring a show production to Wisconsin without some of these incentives? I, it, it's not that I wouldn't do it. it it's... You know, if, if you were put in front of two stores and somebody said, you, I want you to buy a, a similar item, but one store is, 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 is selling it at market price, the other store is at a 25% at a discount. So would love to shoot in Wisconsin, but, uh, you know, practically, you, you really can't do it. You're, you're going to go where the credits um, are going to afford you truly the most bang for your buck in production. The bill won't make it through this legislative session, but lawmakers are promising to bring it back next year. Up next, the TikTok ban.